Chess Master and Crew back once again with another video and today we're going to talk about what you need to, if you want to purchase an Atari ST in 2020 to make music with Cubase etc. This one goes out to the BC Rider and uh, you know I got a request from him that, that said uh, yeah busy I'm, I'm ready to invest in an Atari with Cubase 2.0 do you have any recommendations man this could even be a video segment that could be done and what you need in terms of supplies i'm sure it's hard to find a copy of cubase not sure how i'll work around that so guys this video goes out to everybody who's thinking about purchasing a atari st in 2020 2020 2019 so as far as i know if you could get an Atari that's fully loaded online in a good deal, look, look, something like this, 4 meg, as you can see, it's been upgraded. Uh, you want to get either the 1040 or the 520. Personally, I would prefer the 1040 because it's a better machine. Uh, look, this guy's throwing in loads of stuff, so you can have a little doodle. You've got a few games you can mess about with here. If you can get an, an HXC emulator, then there's going to be some ROMs uh, or, or disk images available to you. You can have one of those pre-fitted. Again, my one comes fully loaded with an HXC emulator built into it and some sort of hard drive, palaver and all that. And it works really well. Uh, but if not, if you're not as fortunate to get hold of that kind of modded version, just get that. Get a monitor with it. If you can't get a monitor with it, guys, then get yourself a uh, RGB, uh, an Atari ST to... VGA sorry VGA cable you can you can get Atari to SCART but I wouldn't recommend using SCART if you're going to use Cubase because the, it has to work in high res mode and the only way you can use it in high res mode is by using one of these leads here these leads are pretty cool you might be able to get a cheaper one and all you do is you plug this into your Atari ST you plug this into your uh, monitor my monitor's got VGA it's also got HDMI and it's got um, SCART and you you can just switch between the two using your remote if you've got a remote on your monitor you know or you might even want to have a separate monitor for it um and uh, as you can see look my, my guy's got it connected up there as well that's what exactly what it does it gives you high res mode a high res as the atari can go that is so don't get your hopes too high but it does look decent enough for the programs that are available for the atari so you know i do recommend it so you need that and also if you're going to produce music you need a copy of cubase you can get that online guys just search internet cubase for the atari you download the files i believe they're in dos format uh, i've downloaded one here recently which i picked up i found two seconds on the internet don't um you know encourage piracy but you know hey you can't get these things no more it's old school uh, and you just copy that onto your onto your floppy drive. I believe it's got to be like a fat fat thirty two or fat sixteen drive uh, formatted drive formatting your PC. Stick it in, transfer these files to it. Anyone else can comment down below who's done this. Let's build the knowledge, guys. And if you're getting anything out of these videos, guys, please uh, smash that like button, guys, and share it with some friends. And consider subscribing to the channel. You'll really be helping me out and give me notifications to carry on making videos like this and make me know that it's working. So we've covered that so far. We covered the cables. Now we need also, you're going to need a set of MIDI cables. You're going to need MIDI, M-I-D-I cables, right? So you need a MIDI cable, you need one of these, yeah, which will go from your keyboards, most of the keyboards that you get, even some of these controllers, before you, you know, purchase a controller, make sure it's got MIDI out, because it's an old school fundamental, as well as USB, uh, because remember, USB would not work on the Atari. Uh, without some sort of gizmo if it if it actually exists i don't know i can't tell you that for sure um so you get your midi cable uh you go midi out from your keyboard into the midi in on your cubase when you hit the keys and you load up cubase you should see some little uh indicators fluttering fluttering saying that there's midi going in then you send a midi out from your atari st into one of your akai's or one of your outboard gears etc and uh that's it you are pretty much good to go guys cubase for the atari personally it's it's it, you know it's nice to have that kind of like old school nostalgia feel and mess about with productions and get a feel for how we done it back in the day um although you know it's also that you could i feel you could do the same results using cubase now with the original cubase and just midi it out for, through your interface and straight into your akai it's it's all about the sound of the akai but then again 
um, comment down below, guys. Let me know. I feel that the Atari does actually give some sort of MIDI characteristics to the sound, believe it or not. I did notice that back in the day, and it what there was a difference between triggering on the Atari and triggering triggering on the Amiga. It's like every every um, setup has its own kind of influence in terms of the the output of the sound guys so um that's it that's all i can tell you really for now if you've got any questions guys pop it down below and uh i'll do my best to answer them if you also got some video suggestions or stuff you'd like to see guys that'll also be awesome so without further ado guys take care god bless peace out